So in this video we're going to download and set up the OSM Tracker app. So we start by going to the Play Store and typing in OSM Tracker. And it's this first option here that's coming up, OSM Tracker for Android. Tap that and install, accept all of those um, access permissions. Okay, now we're going to open up the app. So OSM Tracker opens up with a default layout for collecting data. So if we click plus in the top right here, that means we're going to open up a new track and you can see all of the icons laid out here. Now at the moment, the, um, the background is kind of dark gray and you'll see at the top it says waiting for GPS fix. So what we're waiting for is for the phone to get um, a fix on GPS satellites and get a location. And then these icons will be activated and we'll be able to use the OSM Tracker app. Now you may need to go outside in order to get that GPS fix or it may be able to find GPS from um, sat inside if you're near a window. It will depend on the phone and its um, GPS capacity. Okay now we can see that message has changed to accuracy six meters and the, um, the background and the, the text on those icons has lightened to show those icons are now active. So what we need to do is click take photo, take photo with camera. I'm just going to take a photo of the view outside my window. And then we're going to click the save icon at the top of the screen to save this particular track. Okay, by going through that process, what we've done is kind of wake up OSM Tracker and um, created a little OSM Tracker folder on our phone. So we're going to go and find that folder now, click the home button, and we're going to now search for um, an app that would be called something like My Files or File Manager, or in the case of my phone, it's called File Commander. We open that up and now we can see all these different folders within our phone. So we're going to click internal storage and what we're looking for is this OSM tracker folder and there it is OSM tracker tap to open that up. Now before you go through that process of starting a track and taking a photo this folder doesn't exist so you do need to go through that first phrase um, that first step to get this OSM tracker folder to appear on your phone. So we're now going to click the menu which is the three dot icon in the top right hand corner and we're going to ask to add a new folder and we're going to call this folder layouts with a lowercase l and an s on the end and click OK. And now we need to populate that layouts folder. Click the home screen again and now we go to our, our Gmail and in your Gmail you should have an email from me which includes the images that you'll need to set up the OSM tracker. Okay now we need to download, there'll be eight images and one XML file. So we're going to go through them one at a time, clicking download. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight images and one XML file. Click download for that as well. We're going to go back now to our file commander and we're going to go back to our download folder. And now we can see those eight images and one XML file that we've just downloaded. We're going to select all of these and we're going to move these to that little layouts folder that we've just created within the OSM tracker folder. So we go to menu and move. And now we need to select that OSM tracker folder and then the layouts folder within it and click OK. Go back and just check that those are all in there, OSM Tracker and Layouts. And now we have our eight images on our XML file within that Layouts folder. Okay, so now we're going to go back to OSM Tracker. And we need to go to the menu with the three dots in the top right hand corner to change the settings. Click Settings. And now we need to go through a range of settings checks. So first of all we check that enable sound is ticked and it is. 
that GPS startup is ticked and it is. We want to ignore the GPS clock, click tick. We want to check that the GPS logging interval is set at zero seconds. We want to uncheck and um, untick the one directory per track. And then we want to keep scrolling down until we get to button presets. Tap that and we want to choose this survey scopier and that's that XML file that we've just copied into our layouts folder. And then at the very bottom here, we just want to make sure our orientation stays up as portrait. Now we click back and now when we click plus to open a new track, we see that the layout of the OSM tracker has changed to make it suitable for doing um, street surveys of roaming dogs. So you see now here we have seven different dog types. Um, and if you click the details page, you'll see that we have five body condition scores and skin yes or skin no for visible skin problem. So when we have a dog in front of us, we select what dog type it is. And let's say that we have a female in front of us. We click details if she stays um, visible enough for long enough to be able to assess her welfare. Let's say she was body condition score two and she had a skin condition. Click back. And now this is probably the most important button. Now we click record sighting. Know that until you have clicked record sighting, this observation will not be recorded. And the reason we have that is to allow us to change the dog type and the body condition uh, during an observation. So for example, if a dog is lying down and we say that it's an unknown adult, but uh, then the dog stands up and we can see that actually it's a male, we can then change our mind and click male because we haven't yet clicked record sighting. Once we click record sighting, I'll do that now, it's going to record whatever dog type and whatever body condition score and skin condition settings we recorded the last ones, the most recent setting. So it's a useful button because it allows you to alter the record of your observation until you're sure you've got it right and only then do you click record sighting. Once you've completed your survey, you're going to click the uh, save icon in the top right hand corner and you'll see that we now have our new track at the top here. We're going to hold that down and we're going to select to export as GPX and then you see this little green button appears on the, the uh, far right. We're now going to go back to our file commander. We're going to come out of the layouts folder and now you can see that we have the GPX file saved in this OSM tracker folder. So this is the one that we've just created. Hold that down and select to share. And normally you can share via Gmail. So for example, let's share that with my email address. And when you're sending a GPX file, remember to include your name, include the root name, Include your start time, your end time, and also any comments about that survey. So, for example, if it started raining partway through the survey, or there were some problems with the battery on your phone that meant you had a short delay, include those here. Those are any, any comments that potentially could have impacted the number of dogs that you saw that day. And then you click send. And now that um, email with that GPX file and important information relating to that GPX file has now been sent to my Gmail account. And then I can import that GPX file into the Access database. OK, so that's how to set up and use OSM Tracker on Android.